Selecting the right size AC motor and drive for your application is crucial to a successful and cost-effective installation. I'm Steve Weingarth from ABB and I'm going to discuss the steps required to select the right size AC motor and drive. There are three steps involved in this process. First, you determine the application requirements, then you size the motor, then you select the drive. When determining application requirements, the most important factor to consider is torque. As we know, torque is the effect of a force applied at a distance to an axis. First, we need to know if you have a variable or constant torque application. Variable torque applications include fans, centrifugal pumps, centrifugal blowers, and most mixers. Constant torque applications would be elevators, hoists, conveyors, extruders, and positive displacement pumps. We differentiate between variable and constant torque because constant torque applications are more demanding. When determining your application requirements, you also need to define maximum and minimum speed requirements. Now that we know the application requirements, we can determine the motor size. To do this, we need to calculate two things, torque and speed. When calculating torque, it is important not to undersize the application. This will lead to overheating and a diminished life of the motor and drive. Conversely, an oversized motor and drive will last a long time, but may be a waste of money because you are buying more equipment than you need. After identifying the torque and speed required, we can calculate the motor horsepower. This calculation gives us the correct motor size we'll need for our application. To size the drive, we need to determine the motor current required to develop the application torque. From there, we simply look at a rating table and choose the drive that corresponds to our needs. Many drive sizing tables will include listings for normal and heavy duty use. If you have an intermittent overload torque requirement, you'll want to choose the heavy duty rating which gives you a drive that's one or two sizes larger than normal, so you'll have enough current to produce the required torque. As we've seen, there are three steps in choosing the right AC motor and drive for your requirements. Determining the application requirements, sizing the motor, and sizing the drive. I'm Steve Weingarth from ABB, and I hope you found this video informative. If you have questions or need assistance sizing a motor or drive, please contact us. We'd be happy to help. Mm -hmm.